Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Digby. 12 o'clock location, we have Masuchi starting as the blue Zerg, bottom right-hand corner. We have Do Life starting as the green Terran. This is going to be on Ascension, and this is BSL Season 13 Hasu League Group D. Whoever wins this will go on to face Keen. Whoever loses, it's a best of three, by the way. Do Life we saw in last season, and from what I recall... He had a handful of timing attacks, I think mostly against Protoss players, and ended up getting knocked out uh, from there. Masuchi, I know, is a very strong... I think he is a German Zerg as well, and I know he is a very strong Zerg player. Um, and from what I know of his recent play, he might potentially be one of those guys who could make it towards the latter brackets. Uh, we'll see. I, I have not witnessed his play style, but I've seen him around and... Uh, my understanding is, is that he's pretty decent. I'm trying to think if I've casted him before. I do not think so. Overlord making its way. It's going to get first scout. Do life not opting for a front door seal. Going to put that supply depot alongside. Uh, yeah, as far as a little bit of news in the casting realm, I am extremely excited to do the Fighting Spirit. I guess, I'm not sure if excited is the right word. So you have the Fighting Spirit tournament. It is, at least in initial rounds, going to be seven best of sevens. And what I mean by that is you have a best of seven to determine the winner of the first set, and then you have seven sets to determine who advances. And that is only a, it is a full bracket. Part of the joke of this is, is that both depicts the fighting spirit, and fighting spirit was on the latter map for absolutely for freaking ever. Overlord spotted, so it looks like Dewlife does know where his opponent is, and he is, well, is he going to make his way that direction? Kind of making a weird having with that SCV. Hatchery up, 12 hatch by the way, spawning pool to follow, and an extractor at two minutes. Very crisp timing here for Masuchi. Barracks being planted. Do life looks like he honestly wants to go Rax expand, head up. Uh, and he's doing that blindly. I don't think he's going to end up paying for it, but we'll have to see. Finding a drone, looks like he's not readjusting uh, his scout upon seeing that drone in front of his face. The timing of this suggests to me that we're going to see two hatch mutalisk. Not sure what the ping's going to look like between these two guys. But anyway, I love the irony of that fighting spirit. And I also like as far as just the grueling amount of games. Do life missing a supply depot here. He's not playing. Okay, there it is. Um, kind of doing a weird. So has a front door blockade. But again, because he didn't do the adjustment on one spotting the overlord and two. Spotting the drone. Maybe he was moving the SCV in that corner to try to find it. The drone now making his way to the natural expansion. Upon moving up, he's going to be relieved to see that hatchery. And that should provoke... It looks like he is just going to put down that command center in the midst of this. Wandering in. Should see the lair. He's going to try to play it along the corner. The Zerglings immediately respond. It looks like it's going to be four Zerglings to try to engage this. So he's got an idea of the lair timing. But I don't know. Do life... Masuchi's build order feels crisp, where Do Life's build order feels a little bit lagging uh, from my perspective. And this is just me. This is just caster sense at this stage. I'm not sure 100% if that is the case. It looks like he's going to go for a double barracks opener, refinery being grabbed behind this. But yeah, this is very crisp timing from Masuchi. We'll see if that ends up playing out into Mutalisks, ending up in his opponent's base rapidly. I'm just getting a sense that that's going to be the case. This is just like caster senses tingling more than anything. Like, I don't know turn build order timings all that well. It's just, I don't know, I got that feeling in my bones. Five Marines towards the front to guard that command center. Six Marine going to join momentarily. We do have now the finally the three Marines moving into the midst of this. The Academy being built before the Engineering Bay to get that earlier stim. Spire being built. And Zergling Speed being upgraded. And this is one of those maps. We'll see if some medics get out there. This is a lot of territory to cover, and turrets are going to be necessary for Do Life to defend against everything. This just feels... It's weird. It just feels faster than usual for... I don't know. My guess is it's still going to be the normal 6, 6.30 timing. One problem for Ascension is it's just a lot of territory to cover. And oftentimes I feel like... You need more Marines, you need that stim pack, you need more turrets to just cover the sheer volume of territory because it's such a wide open area. That does open up drops in the mid game. 
10 marines guarding the front door, some zerglings camping nearby with an overlord overhead, third hatchery being grabbed. Pretty standard stuff uh, thus far. But uh, Spire finishing. Comsat. Dewlife does not see... I'm not sure... I, I'm kind of curious why he comps that. Maybe to get a look at the second extractor and to see whether there were any sunken colonies here. The Marines moving out with the medics immediately. Zergling's actually able to sneak by. This is interesting. So Dewlife may be concerned about the Mutalist timing himself. The Zergling's getting some good damage. They're going to slow that third barracks down. But he wants to go ahead and press out in the field. I feel like this might be a mistake, though. That's eight Mutalisks. That are going to be up in the air. He's trying to maybe force some sunken colonies, but with this gap, they might just straight up get picked off. There's a stim dropped, and yeah, in this gap, several of them getting picked off. So do life might end up losing this entire army right off the bat. He is at the natural expansion. It looks like he's able to pick off one mutalist there, but for how long? Two marines remaining, six mutalists in the air, and those were marines that do life needed to defend. So losing his initial marine medic ball. Just by getting way too aggressive. <laughs> now, he's in a spot of trouble. Because with... Seven Mutalisks out in the air, it looks like he's going to opt. So he's going to have the full eight. He's getting... He's got the Hydral's Den down. He's getting Lurker Tech to follow this up. So not just going to go straight Mutalisk into third. A bunker on the front door. But do life in an extreme defensive position. He's just got a skeleton crew of Marines to try to defend this. This is going to require more turrets. Fortunately for him, Masuchi having a little bit of trouble gathering himself. Instead of, him, instead of being in a position to dive down. Also, he's lucky that Masuchi didn't opt for level 1 Mutalisk weapons. Critically, though, Dulife did, by, by sacking that army, bought himself some time. But in the midst of this, third gas is up. And he has absolutely no ability to pressure anything Masuchi's doing. And Masuchi can just go ahead and wander around and, yeah, find soft targets to pick off. Although it looks like he's having some trouble microwing these Mutalisks. Level 1 weapons should be there in not too long. That will make these Marines hit all the harder. And should provide some support. And, yeah, you can see Masuchi realizing the situation. He's like, yeah, do life isn't going to be able to touch me for quite some time. Look at all these turrets on the front concerned about these Mutalisks. That's four turrets, two Marines in that bunker. Using that as an operative wall as well. Turrets here as well. And yeah, the factory needs to come in a hurry. We've got the Queen's Nest already up. Masuchi in a very, very comfortable position. Hive being upgraded. And this third base rapidly going to uh, get saturated. No fourth barracks as of yet. And I still don't feel like Dewlife is in a situation. He might opt to go ahead and he's going to press. Going to try to press this. We do have a handful of lurkers making their way to the north. I have a little bit of stuff in my nose still. This is going to be potentially a hold position situation. We'll see if Masuchi is going to play that or if he's just going to attack from the high ground. Yeah, hold position. Oh, this is devastating. Using the lurkers to bait. Obliterating that line and the rest of the mutals is now diving in and wiping out everything else. Masuchi is playing brilliantly here. And Dulife making several tactical errors. Do life in a desperate situation. Now some Zerglings and Lurkers flooding the map. Hive is going to finish. I don't... So here's the thing. Masuchi could end this now if he wanted to. Just because there's just not a sufficient army from Do life to push us back. Starport just now coming online. Machine Shop being dropped. Potentially to, I don't know, get Spider Mines. Try to help defend this. This gap is plugged by Lurkers. The, the third is going to be impossible to take. But it is a hop, skip, and a jump to drop Swarm and have Lurkers flood that location. And we have an Evolution Chamber dropping. But Masuchi can very easily yeah, get that Defiler Mound up, get a Defiler in position. So I don't know, maybe Fire Bats, some Siege Tanks might help a little bit. But Dewlife is looking to be in a dire situation here. Double Bunker on the front. He's going to need it. Honestly, I would start building fire bats now. He has kept up with upgrades fairly well. He's got level 1 weapons at the very least. Adrenal upgrades are already being upgraded for Masuchi. And he's already got a very strong position with lurkers 
basically boxing do life in. Very unusual situation to see at this stage of the match. And the Mutalisks, keep in mind, still, the science facility not even finished. So there's no... Detection is going to come down to literally just Comsat in the midst of this. So the Defiler Mound is up. Consumed being upgraded. A Defiler could honestly just walk its way this direction. The Mutalisks still finding SCVs to pick off. Second engineering bay being built. That looks like it is going to be... So that's three SCVs down, basically for free. And Do Life can't even threaten that, I don't think. Trying to move out now and find the timing before those Defilers make some room. He does have Irradiate being upgraded, but he doesn't even have a Science Vessel to deal with anything. And the Mutalisks can push with a lot of the rest of this army and really make that happen rapidly. Looking for... Yeah, there's the Defiler to group up and move. Some Zerglings coming alongside. Three Siege Tanks to the north. Some Comsat to go ahead and push these Lurkers back to the north. I'm concerned that this might be too little too late, though. There's the Defiler, that Sneaky Snake, making his way this direction. The Lurkers look like they're going to die at this location. Masuchi kind of not bothering with these Mutalisks anymore. There's the Consume. And the Lurkers now moving forward. This army is hapless. Although a little bit of bad micro from Masuchi. The Marines trying to press out. The Siege Tanks look like they're going to get sieged on by those Lurkers. Some splash damage. Able to do something there. The Zerglings to the north being obliterated. So at least that is a small mercy. Able to clear a little bit of that out. So do life able to get some purchase above his third. There's still some Lurkers in Dark Swarm there. But this is kind of tempting fate. Lurkers now on the low ground. The Marines again without detection. Is there a science vessel? Finally a science vessel grouping up in the midst of this. And you can just see the Marines hitting nothing. Do Life though doing a pretty good job of macroing. He does have 44 SCVs versus the 32 of Masuchi. Masuchi, however, has grabbed his fourth base and is now grabbing his fourth gas at the 9 o'clock. I gotta give it to Do Life. He's actually done a pretty good job of keeping himself alive in what looked like a dire situation already. That science vessel taking a little bit of damage there. But it just seems like it's a matter of time before Masuchi has the resources and honestly a lot else to just kind of run him over. Supply even somehow. So Do Life doing a fantastic job of macroing. A bunch of lurkers being morphed midfield. And that is going to provide, I believe that lurker grouping is going to provide pr uh, plenty of time. For this Ultralisk, uh, Ultralisk Cavern to come online and Masuchi to start fielding those Ultralisks before not too long. And Do Life still does not have a third. Really has not. I don't think he's killed a drone. Science Vessel exposed. It's going to get picked off. Siege Tanks moving up. Trying to work on those Lurkers. That Defiler plaguing a Plague upgrade in the midst of this. Catching a lot of those Siege Tanks. I'm not sure if that's showboating or misclick. Lurkers moving forward. They're going to be able to take out those siege tanks as soon as they position to do so. The Mutal is actually going to move in and do a little bit of cleanup. A lot of things dying overhead. And these Mutalists have been absolute heroes. They're the entire game. Some Medic Marines sneaking through. They're going to run into... This is a movie moment. This is like the sad cinematic from the Marine side of things. Where it's like, we thought we were free. We're going to get something done here, guys. Just kidding. Here's a bunch of Lurkers. And then they all die. Oh, this is looking ugly. And on top of that, we do have some Ultralisks in production. I think that might be all she wrote. We'll see. Do Life clinging on to hope. He's, only, he's still only running off four barracks. The main is still mining for him. That's the advantage of Medic Marines. They are cheap. Single Starport has continued to pump out the Science Vessels. And that's at least one thing in his favor, is he at least has Science Vessels out at this stage. Do Life, however, running a pretty big mineral surplus in the midst of this. Lurkers just going to sneak in underneath this. And there you have it. Dark Swarm and Lurkers at the natural expansion. Just walking in. This is usually the GG moment. Three, third base trying to be captured by Do Life. He's losing an immense amount of SCVs. And before where he was ahead in the worker count, with that maneuver, he has lost everything. 
Do life down to 32 SCVs now. Looks like he was able to pick off the Defiler from the north using his Siege Tanks and the splash damage therein. But he is boxed into his natural expansion and making matters worse, Ultralisks running in. The one saving grace here is the Ultralisks do not have their Kerapus upgrade as of yet. But I don't think it makes a difference. The army being cleaned up there. Marines trying to engage. Yeah, there's GG from Do Life. This felt like Masuchi crisp and clean and ahead from the start. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Move on to game two. Hopefully Do Life can come back and uh, create a series. Let's root for that. Thanks for listening.